Hi, welcome to the tutorial of MultiCare. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to perform a HbA1c test. So for a start, uh, it's very simple. You need to make sure that you have six items. So one is the analyzer, second is the alcohol swab, third is the lancet. You must have your buffer solution, your lancing device and the test kit. So in total, uh, always remember the number six. So before we do the test, we have to make sure that we have this code chip. So this code chip must be the same number as the back of the HbA1c test kit. So as you can see here, it's 089. And inside the, uh, behind the uh, test kit, there will be a number as well, 089. So if it matches, then you put the code chip into the code chip slot. And you only have to do this uh, one time or the first time because uh, the machine will actually, actually remember the last uh, code that you inserted for your HbA1c. So if you are using other tests like the CRP, the lipid and whatnot, uh, you don't have to reinsert the code chip. So what you do, do now is that uh, we prepare the patient's um, uh, finger for pricking. So we let the alcohol, we wipe it thoroughly and we let the alcohol dry. Okay, so meanwhile, while we are waiting for it to dry, we prepare our lensing device. Put in the lancet cover and adjust the depth. Okay, so this whole uh, procedure will only need 5 microliter and that's very small amount of blood. So uh, we will open the test strip. Inside the test, test strip you will see this black thing. This is the, uh, the test strip for HbA1c and you will see a pipette. Okay? If the ball is, um, is, is lodged here, you just have to flick it. But uh, if it's down here, that, that means it's good. Okay? So, just leave it here. So we proceed to prick the finger of the patient. So, let's pull it. So we don't want to be squeezing it, so we have to push the blood this way. Okay, so you'll see the blood forming. So what you do now is that you take this pipette, okay, and you just touch. And it will suck the blood through capillary action. And this is all the blood that you need. So once it's, it's uh, full, it doesn't suck the blood anymore. So your job is done. So next, you just leave this uh, pipette onto the uh, table. So once you're done, uh, you take the buffer solution, open the cap. Okay. So what you do now is that you press the, the top of the uh, pipette. So hold it, hold it, hold it until you go into the solution and then suck the buffer solution and release, suck and release. Notice how my finger move is very minimal movement. It doesn't require you to let go very fast, okay? Just slowly do it. Then once you get your um, uh, ball, the blue ball just now, to dissolve, then your job is done. So now the blue ball has already dissolved. So what we do is... We press one final time and then we suck all the solution up slowly. Okay, So we want to reduce the bubble that is uh, produced. But this is fine, this is normal. Okay, This is enough, this is okay. So once you're done, don't worry this doesn't drip. Okay, uh, You just put the test strip in and then the machine will light up just like a glucose meter. You will switch on. Okay, it will show you the code 089. Now you just have to drop the blood all one shot and click start immediately. Okay, don't go drop by drop, drop by drop. No, one shot, press it all out, click start immediately. Okay, so we just have to wait for three minutes. The timer will start once it receives the blood. Okay, so the timer has started, so we just have to wait for 3 minutes.
So once your result is out, um, you just have to discard the test strip by pulling it out. So pull it out and throw it into the uh, plastic.